Well, let's see how this goes here. Got my little container here, and I put my hand right up in here like that. Okay. Now I gotta treat this stuff carefully. You just want to cut it in. You know, try to be as careful as you can. That's why I'm using the, the four inch brush. So it makes it a little easier. If you don't want to use a four inch, you could try uh, three inch or something. And I just use the little throwaway paint brushes. You know, that's all I'm going to do along the edge. I mean, I could probably do this whole thing with the paintbrush. Um, you could also use, I'm going to hit around this edge right here. You could also use a sponge, they say, or even a rag. Uh, a sponge, you'd have to use gloves, obviously, and stuff. But I'm going to, I'm going to just do it this way. Okay. Just take your time before you put some some sealer on just take your paintbrush and kind of set it up where you want it and just kind of do some practice strokes okay to, to make sure you can you feel comfortable getting it into the nooks and crannies all right Easy as you go. Now as you're cutting in, you have to you have to go down low enough to allow for your mini roller. Okay, so you know four inches. This is a four inch paintbrush. You can come down four inches or even three inches, whatever. Okay, that way when you take your mini roller up. To the ceiling you don't hit the ceiling that's the last thing you want to do is hit the ceiling that's why I'm not putting any masking tape up there okay and that's why I'm going to use a mini roller too I could have used um, like a nine inch roller but you know I don't have as much control with that you know what I mean You just hold it up there, hold your mouth just right, and get it nice and straight. You can do it. Okay, you shouldn't be getting any on the ceiling. If you get just a sixteenth of an inch on the ceiling, that's okay. Because the grout is going to cover that once we get ready to put the grout up there. Okay. You know, remember up there that's where that big crack was I went ahead and put masking tape up there and then I put some caulking up there and just ran my flat putty knife along there I <laughs> like a putty knife is anything but flat right and I put it in there and I put a little bit more pulled the pull the masking tape off now at least that will give me a nice edge when I get ready to grout um, I can grout right up there and and uh, blend it in a little bit easier. Okay. Nice straight line. And use a use a uh, one of, one of the paint brushes. You know, a throwaway. This is a four inch throwaway paintbrush. And I haven't used it for any other projects. And I wanted a nice nice edge on my brush and this one's fine I don't want to use my good you know fifteen twenty dollar cut-in brush for something like this okay that's all you gotta do there it is keep it moving keep it moving oh yeah 
my little small confined bathroom, but I'm doing it. Okay, and on your inside corners, you know, just run your paintbrush along the inside corners because the roller is not going to get right up on in there, okay? And that's why I'm doing everything with the paintbrush first. That way when I get in with the roller, everything's ready and I can just do everything without stopping and cutting in and stuff. And I can do that around this too. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with the shower head just yet. See, there's no scutch and trim around here, and we're going to take this off, but for the time being, this is here. I'm just going to leave it here. It's not in my way. I can cut in around it. But this arm, we're going to have to get a longer one because it's pushed into the wall, the outlet, a little bit further than normal. See, the shower head's not poking out very far, is it? Probably going to have to get a little bit longer extension arm to it, you know, with a nice, a nice trim cover that's going to go around there. But for the time being, this is fine for when I get ready to do the grout. Okay, even this edge, I'm going to go ahead and do, before I get the, the roller out, just so I don't have to get over the edge, because if I go over the edge with a sponge roller, it could throw some here and dribble on down there. Okay. Anywhere where you can use your paintbrush to cut in, do it. Now, like I say, I'm going to end up doing this whole thing, the rest of it, with a mini roller but if you don't have a mini roller if this is all you got can you do it this way yeah you could do the whole thing with a four inch paintbrush depending how big your shower is you know you can just do the entire thing and see where you've gone gone where you have started started and stopped and all that and you could just do it this way okay and I could do this whole thing like this. It wouldn't take me that much longer, but I want to I want to show you the uh, the mini roller because that's part of the video. Because I want to give you options. Wax on, wax off. Yes, grasapa. Up, down. Down. Just like that. Down. Up. Down. Up. See? <laughs> Have fun with your project. Now, how many times have I told you, don't pay someone else when you can do it yourself? I don't think I overdid it with the masking tape and everything. This way I don't, uh, you know, I still want to be careful as I'm doing everything, but this way I am assured I'm not going to get anything on the tub at all. Okay. That's the last thing I want is for it to get on the tub and then think, oh, okay, I'll just wipe it off and then have it, have it shown when everything's dry or something, you know? I'm just gonna kinda go around this so I don't have to mess with this with the roller. And it just, even this little bit in between, okay? That way I can do the roller over there, up to here, down. So I always wanna think about where, where my roller's gonna be, you know?
You don't want to put too much on. You don't want any dribbles left. So when you think you're done, just wipe over it again. You know, so it's nice and even, Steven. Yeah, okie dokie. Up, down. Now see, I'm being pretty careful, as careful as I can get. See all these, all this little overage already? You know, just little drips everywhere. And I'm being careful too, mind you. Here we go. And there's, you know, that's the type of stuff I want to keep off of the tub right there. Now, just because I have this craft paper down doesn't mean I can get all sloppy and just go and blow this out. I still want you to be careful, okay? Now, see, when I get done with all this craft paper, I can just pull it all up, fold it up, and throw it away. Way better than a drop cloth. And with plastic, if you put plastic in here and if it rips, you don't really see that. And then you could still get it all over the tub. This way I can see where my overages are. Be careful.